times on this show that you believe finally putting your coach Jimmy Johnson in the ring of honor, the Cowboys ring of honor, will break the 28-year curse that has kept the Cowboys out of even an NFC championship game since your Cowboys won the franchise's last Super Bowl. That was in early 1996. Wow. After what you experienced, Michael, at halftime in that game on Saturday night, do you feel even better about the Jimmy curse being broken? Well, listen, today, man, Saturday night, after I saw what happened in the game, I promise I got home, I thought, I said, wow, that's interesting. That's crazy that what happened at the end of the game on the night that Jimmy went in. Because remember, when I was there, Skip, somebody, I don't know if it was you or Sherm or, or Key, asked me, did we win that night that we got inducted? Yeah, we were playing the Washington Commanders. Yep. Right, right, Key did. And we were up the whole game. The whole game, like 14-0 and a 13-0. We missed extra point or something. And, they, and, and late in the game, I think they hit Santana Moss for the touchdown. We lost that game. And I was having that feeling. I was like, oh, my God, this is happening again. Mm. This is happening again. You know, I thought that was happening that night. But when they won that game, the day, at, the end, at the end of that game, I mean, when they won that game, that took me back to Jimmy. I said, oh, maybe this thing is really over now. All of that jinx that has been laying over the Dallas Cowboys. And then when Philly went down, Oof. the way they went down, up all of those points, mm -hmm. there's no way anyone could have seen right here, right now, the Dallas Cowboys being the <laughs> NFC East winner. I was like, whoa, we are about to get games coming in to our stadium, mm -hmm. I was worried about and trying to move around the whole playoff picture to see who I can send to San Francisco so we didn't have to go there. And now we won't have to go there until it's the NFC Championship game. Oh, man. Well, I tell you what, man, that that, that curse, yeah, that's, that's that Jimmy John. It has to be. Has There's to be. no other way. Yep. There was no other way this could have come out. It happened the way it had happened. Yeah. There's no other way. And Jimmy gets his moment in that building and hovers over that building. And now we will have more moments in that building. There's no, I, I'm saying yes, this is the curse being lifted. And I hope they see that this is the curse being lifted and start grabbing a hold to what's rightfully theirs. Mm, Richard, you buying? Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is. This is not something that I, I ever thought about, so I can't, I can't say that I'm buying or selling. You know, I thought it was a special moment. I thought that was one of the more cool things, just the history of the NFL and all that. So the energy, the, the how about them Cowboys was, was the icing on the cake, the cherry on top. Uh, but again, that team did not respond in the way that I thought, you know, the referees responded in a way, you know, to, to, to change the outcome. But I didn't think that the team necessarily said, hey, and, and what, what I want to do, because we haven't yet, is give Dak Prescott a ton of credit and C.D. Lamb. He had, what, 374 in the game. We talked about the offense right. not playing well, but 374 is as good as it gets. I think two, uh, C.D. Lamb had 230. Yeah. So I guess those guys responded in a big way. Then you got the Micah Parsons offsides. The defense had two turnovers. You know, it, there, was, there were moments for both teams in that game, but – I don't know. We'll see. We'll see January fifteenth through the through February fourteenth or whenever the Super Bowl. Is. But 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 Sherman, if they put up the average, if they put up the regular forty points that they've been putting up, and they blow that game out, then there is no indication that we can have any verification that the curse had been lifted. So so this way, this way, as odd as it is, it's crazy as it is, it has to be this way, just so you can sit and say. There's no other way or there's no other explanation for the things to happen in the way that they have happened except the curse has been lifted. That's all. That's what I'm saying. You, you, you know what I mean? No way Philly loses that game against Arizona. No way. No way that happens. No way that happens. Not I didn't see that happen to Skip. Six. No kind of right, way. Right, right. Okay. Not no, up to Michael, one six. we, we got to take the first step first. We have not played well on the road, though we've had our moments on the road, but not lately. But we still have to go to our arch rival, as bad as they've been, 
despite the fact we are 13 and a half point favorites at Washington this Sunday, 425 Eastern on Fox, we still have to deal with a team that has bedeviled us for years. You experienced it in your right. time, Michael. You know and I know they will be spoiling to spoil our season because they can knock us right back on our golden tails if we can't right. figure out a way to beat them the way San Francisco figured out a way to beat them. It was close for a little while, then they pulled away. And and yet, I, I still feel like we're, we're just better than them, and surely we can go to their place, their house, and and figure out a way to win by one point. I don't care if we win by one point because that's all we need for right. two home playoff games, obviously, if you win the first one. So your thoughts, Michael, on can we beat Washington at Washington? Yes, and, I, and, 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 and to this, let me move it to Washington and, and along the same lines of what we're talking about, the curse of Jimmy being lifted. You know, I, I, we, we had some struggles in Washington. Remember, Absolutely. Skip, that was the, that was the famous... They, if they were really hungry, they could have eaten on the football field when that poor lady, oh, my God. On your team lady, plane. Sure. Yep, going on. On our team plane, going home after we lost a game that no we shouldn't food. have lost to Washington. You lost Washington, to Washington. She was, she was just trying to serve food the flight to the attendant. players. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, the flight attendant. <laughs> that poor lady went and got that cart, and Jimmy got up and said, <laughs> Put that guard away! Don't you feed nobody anything. If they were really hungry, they would have ate on that football field. And and from that point on, from that point on, dog. That from, was it. Hey, from that point on, we didn't lose any more games, nope. right? We went on win the Super Bowl. But 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 every time late in the game, we we're close. I would always come and huddle, say, Hey, are we gonna eat today or not? What are we going, you know, that means that we're going to eat on that airplane or not. Jimmy made sure that he kept the edge on. And I'm telling you, the ghost of Jimmy made sure that he kept the edge on. I was worried about this team going to Washington with nothing to play for. They're already yeah. not playing well. And now you're going to go to Washington with nothing to play for. Jim, Jimmy would never have, Jimmy would have said, we're playing. Everybody's playing the whole game. Yeah. Don't even ask about who's not playing. And I'll let you know later on. He'll tell us, okay, now you come out of the game. Because he didn't want to lose the week of practice, not just because because when you say you're not playing, then you don't practice the same with the same intensity. Yeah. That was something he always kept under his cap and his cap only. And I knew it always helped our team. And he's helped that team right now by saying, Get ready to play week 18 because you know you need Okay, it. Michael, I'm going to remind you. One year ago this week, our team went to Washington with a little bit to play for if Philly was going to have a hard time with the Giants in Philly, which they did not because Giants were down to their third-string quarterback. But remember, we laid our biggest egg of the year, even though the starters did play. Dak was horrible in that game, threw another pick six in that game. We lost 26 to 6. Dak had a QBR, I think, of 15 on a scale of 0 to 100. It was arguably his very worst game. He was below 50% in completions. And their young quarterback, who we'll have to see again, just tore us up, as did their run game, as did everything else. We didn't show up, but you can argue nobody really believed that Philly was right. going to lose to the Giants and there was nothing else to play for. But they got to right the wrong of one year ago on this field, right? Right, right. And, and, and that's what I mean, Skip. Like, like the pressure wasn't on. And Dallas no. doesn't play well, certainly when the pressure's not on and you got a week off. So I'd imagine they had a horrible practice that week and it showed up on the football field because they practiced like, well, this game really doesn't matter. But this game really does matter. Yeah, they have really, that number two seed really right now. I mean, there, there's no tinkering about it. There's no messing with it. If they thought, and I thought leaving the game Saturday night, okay, yeah. they, they're not going to have anything to play for next week. Yep. If they thought that, you know what I mean? Now you can't even possibly think that you have to be full go. Yeah. So Richard, yeah, back and, to you. And, and go ahead. That's one yeah. of the things that I'm a little bit concerned with for this team right. is that you got to play. You know, I would almost, right. you know, I know you you prefer to play at home and you guys are a lot better at home, so I'll give you that. The two seed used to be, mean more because you yeah, would be you getting buy. rest yep. next week and got, getting a bye, but the things have changed. But it's the, the age of this offensive line. 
and how banged up they are. You know, Tyler Smith went out the other day. Uh, Tyron Smith has, has been banged up throughout the season. So resting this week would have been beneficial for those guys heading into this playoff run, heading into the tournament, and giving those guys a chance to say, hey, give these bodies as much juice as you can get them left. You know what I mean? You get, get your massages, get your hyperbaric chambers, get everything you can get, and get ready to make this run. But instead, you got to grind through this last game and then grind straight through the playoffs, which is, which is a tough task for anybody to ask. I mean, there, there have been teams that have done it. The Rams did it. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers did it as, as wild card teams and went, you know, the gauntlet of the four games and went to the Super Bowl and, and found a way to win. But it's a tough road. It's a very tough road. Okay, but Richard, right. and, yeah, you, you have been doing your divisional and done dance for the Dallas Cowboys all year long on this show. Are you starting to worry that we could get past the <laughs> divisional round if we get two home games? Because we would not have to see San Francisco in this scenario until the NFC Championship game, obviously, at San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. The thing that is concerning me, Skip, is that you might not make it to the divisional. That's the only thing that's got me holding my breath. I'm like, come on, you got to win this first one for me. Win this one for the Gipper. Yeah. So that I can, you know what I mean? Because then otherwise I got to go talk to Wayne and we got to do wild card and out or, or one and done. or yeah. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. feel like changing the lyrics. Yep. Okay. So I, I need them to get to the divisional so that I can do my little dance. Skip. <laughs> I, they're going to get to the divisional because they're going to go to Washington and win this game by one point if that's what it requires because I think the Jimmy curse has been broken. But, Richard, I will give you this, and I will give Michael this, and I think he concurs. We have now carefully watched two straight games, one in Miami, one against a good Detroit team in Dallas, and it left all of our emotions mixed because we saw a lot of really good things like Super Bowlish kind of things. And we saw things that made us shrug and roll our eyes. Like, wh where did that come from? So they're not clicking on Super Bowl cylinders. But Richard, I'm going to say this to you one more time and I'm on record with it. I believe if we can get